Hello everyone, it's Little Ryan in the GoFab Lab, and today we will discuss importing pictures from the internet. The three main popular file extensions to stick with are SVG, PNG, and JPEG. When looking for an image online, it's easier to find an image by typing vector or silhouette after the name of the picture you're looking for. So for example, if you're looking for a cow, you'll type in cow vector or cow silhouette. Now I'm going to show you an example of saving an image from the internet and importing it into Inkscape. Here I have my image. I'm going to right click and go to save image as. It's going to go to another window where you're going to save. Make sure you save it to a correct folder so you can find it later. And as you can see, it's saving as PNG. I'm going to save the picture as cow, real short, and then click enter. Now you've saved your picture. I'm going to go back to Inkscape and go to File, Import. Now I'm going to look for the picture that I just saved. When you find your picture and you click on it, it's going to bring open this window about bitmap. Do not change or alter any of these settings. Just click OK. Now that you have your image in view, we're going to select it and go to Path and then select Trace Bitmap and that's going to create a path. A window on the right will appear and you'll click live preview and it'll just show the outline of what you're going to be copying. Do not change or alter the settings on this or else your picture might come out looking different. Go ahead and just click OK and then exit out in the top right hand corner and then go back to your picture. Now you'll have two images overlapping each other. Just grab one and pull it down below. The images are different so pay attention. The top one has a non-transparent background. We do not want to save that one. We want to delete that one. Now the bottom picture has a transparent background. That's the one we're going to keep. That is the one that you can edit with now. Keep in mind if you save an SVG picture from the internet, you do not have to do the trace bitmap to edit the picture. It's ready to edit after you import it. Mm -hmm. 